Please help me to welcome our very special guest to help us kick off the 2022 Cathay Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens. The first name on today's team sheet representing the HKSAR government. Please welcome Mr. Paul Chan, Financial Secretary of Hong Kong. And the representatives of our long-term co-title sponsors, Mr. Augustus Tang, CEO of Cathay Pacific Airways, and Ms. Luan Lim, CEO of HS Kong. Our venue host, Mr. Aguzin, CEO of the Hong Kong Exchange. Uh, last, at least, our very own Hong Kong Rugby Union Chairman, Mr. Chris Brook. <laughs> and to officially kick off the proceedings, please welcome to the stage, Chris Brook. Financial Secretary, Augustus, Luan, Nicholas, distinguished guests and friends of the media, good afternoon. As the newly elected chair of the Hong Kong Rugby Union, a resident of this incredible city for over 40 years and a lifelong rugby player and fan, I am both highly delighted and very relieved to mark the kickoff of the 2022 Cathay Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens. Before we begin, I must acknowledge the hard work put in by so many people over the past three years to help safeguard the Hong Kong Rugby Union, particularly my predecessor as chairman, Patrick Donovan, and the outgoing members of the board. Their hard work and difficult decisions have helped make this day possible, and the kickoff of the event in November will be a welcome reward for their patient efforts. Since the last time we gathered to celebrate a sevens, the world has changed, and the HKRU has been faced with many challenges. The pandemic postponements have led to significant financial and staff losses in recent years. Yet we are fortunate to have been able to take solace in the strength of our community at home and the support of our friends around the world. Many of us play rugby because it demands absolute teamwork, resilience and a shared vision for success, traits which have sustained us as an organisation during this time. Rugby also teaches you how to take a knock, get up and get back in the game. Well, we are still standing, and I'm proud to say that this November, the game is getting back to Hong Kong. There are too many people to thank for this, but I would indeed be remiss if I did not acknowledge the contribution of our special guest this afternoon, the Financial Secretary of the Hong Kong Government, Mr. Paul Chan, whose steadfast support for the Sevens has been instrumental in making November a long-awaited reality. I must also express our gratitude to Mr. Augustus Tang and Ms. Luan Lim and their teams at Cathay Pacific and HSBC for their patient support over the last few years. And a very warm thanks to our friends here at Hong Kong Exchange for sharing this spectacular venue and inviting us to strike the gong and get the Hong Kong Sevens back in business. We are 100% committed to and capable of delivering the event within the prevailing protocols and I have full confidence in the team at the HKRU and at World Rugby to stage the Sevens both safely and successfully. The Hong Kong Rugby Union is deeply appreciative of the trust placed in us by the relevant government authorities and the community at large. And we look forward to once again being able to generate the wider benefits to both the economy and society by the hosting of the Sevens in the very near future. There is only one way to sufficiently repay all of these people and organizations for their support. And that is by being able to say, see you at the sevens this November. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. As you return to your seat, I would now like to welcome our venue host, Nicholas Aguzin, Chief Executive of the Hong Kong Exchange, to say a few words.
Thank you very much, Finance, Financial Secretary. Great to have you again in our venue, in our home here. All our friends from the Hong Kong Rugby Union, it is a great honor to be hosting you here at the Hong Kong Exchange Connect Hall. We're excited and very proud to welcome all of you to the heart of Hong Kong's financial industry as we celebrate the return of Hong Kong Sevens. The Hong Kong Sevens is one of the greatest rugby tournaments in the world. It brings together the sporting and business communities. It celebrates teamwork and excellence. And of course, it shares un the unique vibrancy of our home, Hong Kong, with the whole world. And HKEX and the Hong Kong Seven, up, the Sevens, they uphold the same values, excellence, collaboration, teamwork, diversity, community, to name just a few. And both HKEX and the Hong Kong Sevens play a key role in making connections, fostering friendships, and promoting dialogue. But that's not all. The Hong Kong Sevens is an integral part of the incredible Hong Kong story, a story that has seen a humble fishing community become the world's city most important international financial center, a story of resilience and reinvention, a story that also resonates deeply within HKEX. In Hong Kong stadiums, thousands of spectators will gather to watch the most celebrated sevens tournament in the world. Many of the spectators will have been born in Hong Kong. Some, including myself, have chosen Hong Kong as their home. And some will be people that are visiting Hong Kong. But on that weekend in November, all of them will be connecting by the same Hong Kong story. They will be cheering on teams from around the world. For example, I'm going to be mostly cheering for Hong Kong, but sometimes for Argentina, which is my home country. And if Hong Kong plays with Argentina, well, let's see what happens. Um, regardless of which team they cheer for, they will also be cheering for the return of this great sporting occasion and this amazing city. Speaking on behalf of HKEX, we will be cheering too. And we war warmly welcome the announcement around the home quarantine elimination, the hotel quarantine elimination uh, recently. Welcome back, Hong Kong Sevens. Thank you very much and look forward to a great event. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas, for that very warm welcome and for inviting us to close the market and start the countdown for the Hong Kong Sevens 2022. I'm sure everybody would agree that this is an absolutely incredible setting that you provided for us here today. Thank you so much. Now, to help with tonight's honors, I'd now like to invite our special guests to the stage for some photos. So first of all, if I could invite the Financial Secretary and Chris to join me on stage. And I'd now like to welcome Luan and Augustus to the stage, please.
And if I could now invite Nicholas to please join the party on stage. And finally, I'd like to invite two of our very own Hong Kong Seven Squad members, Saloon Yu Kam Singh and Lee Kato, to join the party on stage. So, we've, we've threatened this gong long enough. It's time, if I could invite our guests to get ready. Jumbei, Jumbei, we should have a 15 second countdown. There we go. All joined in together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're gonna have one last photo. If you can all just take one step forward, please. Okay, many thanks to all of our guests for your hard work. You can now retake your seats. I hope so. Good to see you too. Great to have you here. Very much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to invite the Financial Secretary to do us the honour words. Yeah, thank you. Chris Kucho Augustus, Luan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
Rugby fans all, good afternoon. As you could clearly see, this financial secretary knows a thing or two about beating the stock market gong. <laughs> but I can tell you, this is the first time I have banged it to close the day's trading, while at the same time officially opening the first Hong Kong Rugby Sevens tournament in three and a half years. I'm pumped, I'm pumped, and there are plenty of organization and people to, pay, to thank for that. Beginning with, of course, the Hong Kong Rugby Union. Its chairman, Chris Brook, got my attention a few minutes ago when he said that rugby teaches you how to take a knock, get up, and get back in the game. In delectable words, and they ring equally true for the Hong Kong Sevens and the city we call home. I'm grateful too to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, Hong Kong EX, our host today, and to Long Tom Seven sponsors, Cafe Pacific and HSBC, as well as the Hong Kong Rugby Sevens team and Rugby Met Media. It is no coincidence that we are launching our Sevens the theme of November's Free Day Cafe Pacific HSBC Hong Kong Sevens at Hong Kong EX Connect Hall. The Hong Kong Sevens and businesses have been an inseparable, inseparable part, famously intertwined for decades. A little like the South Stand and the corporate boxes, they may not be sitting together or singing, dancing, or reeling together, but they are one. When it comes to one of Hong Kong's most memorable weekends of the year, and so it will be once again in November. The return of the Hong Kong Sevens means business is returning too. And I know we can't wait for both to fill the stands and the streets and shops, restaurants, and hopefully bars as well. My colleagues in the bureau and departments throughout the government are working with our National Sports Association to relaunch sporting events in Hong Kong, despite the unprecedented challenges brought about by the pandemic. The momentum will keep on building and long beyond. There will be no stopping our many prestigious international events. Today's gong-striking gong gathering makes that clear. Hong Kong is poised to re embrace the world, a world of rewarding connections in business, sports, entertainment, and whatever else you have to offer. So, see you at the 7th.